Alright everyone, in this video we are in the Sacrarium heading towards the Twilight God. Frisch is leading the way and our NPC companions feel like something bad is going to happen. Uh, something bad has already happened to Silly, he's already crapped his pants twice in this run. More than twice actually. Also, I like how Prish runs ahead but she doesn't show you how to get there. She's like, uh, well, figure it out yourself. You'll figure it out. It's all good. I think we're going further into the place again. I feel like this is where they were, we were aiming to go. <clears throat> yeah. No? Maybe not. Guess we're aiming for somewhere else. Are we aiming to get that caramel? Is if so, they're just past the foam wars, apparently. This place could drive a man mad, and a woman, and a silly. Guys, and PM it. <laughs> Guys, and PM it. It's because our entire raid group just has PM it. There's a Fulmar Paladin. And a thief. That's just weird. Territory. Leads us up, so I guess we're gonna be going to... Down this hallway, yeah. We're gonna go find Karamet. Don't play advancing merch. Did you hear that? Nope. It was just like do 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 Alright. What am I supposed to do here?
We need to wait for an NM, I guess. I don't know. It says only one person needs the sea lion key. Let's kill the Teratai. Wait for him to repop. How that? Now that's just rude. All right. Shouldn't take that long. Hopefully. Feather step. Three critical hits in a row. Four. <laughs> That's true. It's good. But I wonder how many of the planets are really going to be di different. Alright. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many planets are going to be really different. You know what I mean? I don't know. Alright. So since we got to wait for this guy to pop, I'm going to go grab myself a drink from the fridge. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, viewers. Once this thing pops, we will continue with the stream. Okay, I am back. All right. Excellent. So, I started playing my uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask last night for my 3DS. Oh yeah. And uh, they made some actual improvements to the game, which I was happy to see. Although I'm not used to playing it on the 3DS, so the controls are kind of wonky for me. Not that they're mm. bad; it's just I'm not used to them. That's okay. I just bought Lightning Returns. 
for it was on sale. Oh yeah, I got it for eleven dollars as well. Yeah. Now I have all three. I figure I may as well play the Steam version when I stream that, but I might play the game on easy because I haven't played well, it in forever and playing well, it on normal. Scrub. Well, playing it on normal was rough back in the day, but starting it over again is. Uh... Just get Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI. Get all these games, all for Steam right now. How much is FF6? $11? 6 is. seven ninety nine. For you? Ha, in real land, where there is real money. It's true. Apparently I own Just Cause. Now you can buy it for a 174 <laughs> I was considering actually getting Just Cause. But... Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I want to play those as well. But I'm Man, like, like everything yeah. Square Enix ever sold is on sale right now. <laughs> Literally everything, pretty much. Kane and Lynch 2, Dog Days. Like, what the hell is that game? Yeah, FF6 Dungeon for me is $11.24. Alright, what's Dungeon Siege and should we play it? Dungeon Siege Collection. What is this game? Silly, buy me all the DS, uh, DS games. Dungeon Siege 3. Buy all the what? Buy me all the DS games. All the DS games that exist? Yeah, DSX, whatever. <laughs> okay, it is a Diablo like game, Dungeon Siege. Makes sense. Okay. Recommended highly not. Reasons <laughs> All versions of, for Dungeon Siege on Steam are cursed. Dungeon Siege 1 is incomplete with no add ons and missing the in game cutscene. Dungeon Siege 2, the same. Dungeon Siege 3 is pure joke and will never be Dungeon Siege. <laughs> well, that's actually factually true. I mean, if Dungeon Siege 1 is Dungeon Siege, anything else created cannot possibly be yeah. Dungeon Siege. Listen to this review. Hey, look, a, co a couch co-op RPG. That looks like it's going to be gr What do you mean only the host of the game keeps any progress made? <laughs> And then the next one says, ah, this game, this game, what can I say? I don't like writing negative reviews, but, well, let's just say this game is far below my expectation. <laughs> this is for Dungeon Siege 3. That's amazing. Uh, none of them come close to the Knights uh, online. Uh... Those were good, yeah. It has, an in it has an uninstall button. The uninstall button works great. <laughs> I looked through all the reviews, and all the positive reviews were just veiled negative reviews. That's awesome. Man, they really want people to buy the Taylor's Principle, and I want to play it, but I'm not a very smart person, so I don't think I'd be very good at it. Buy it for Piamet <laughs> and make her play it. Oh my god, she would literally open the game, find out that it was a 3D puzzle game, and then just, like, Portal, but harder probably, and then just never play it again. <laughs> Ah, that's like her with uh, Undertale. Oh, her friend man. buys her Undertale, she plays it, dies to the first puzzle, gives up on the game forever. That's it, yep. Yep. Night Online is actually on Steam right now. Yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it right now. It's that's like that's where I was reading the reviews. That's awesome. <laughs> Mostly negative. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, the funny thing is, it's like all the pictures look like it would be cool. You know? Yeah. The pictures look pretty good, but then the game is terrible. <laughs> I think we should probably install it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, because apparently the game's like almost entirely in Turkish. <laughs> That's great. One, one of the reviews was, well, the story's pretty good, uh, especially if you're from Turkey and can understand it. <laughs> Again, not necessarily a negative. It's really a positive thing if you're from Turkey <laughs> or speak Turkish. Divine Souls, free to play MMO. What is that game? Divine Souls. Divine Souls? What the heck is that? 
doesn't really look like an MMO. Oh, there's a lot of Oh, I came there. here to look at Elite Dangerous because I'm dumb. Elite. All right, viewers, I know this is not exceptionally exciting, um, simply because we have to wait for something to pop, and apparently it only pops in, after four hours of in-game time. Um, and it only pops at night, but thankfully, four hours from when it was last killed will be at night in-game. So, it should pop, pop, uh, pop really soon, within like the next 30 minutes. <laughs> so, Silly is now going to add some excitement to the stream by reading reviews for various games. Go. Yeah, here's a game or a gamer. The first, the top, the top, the most recent review, I guess, from Elite Dangerous. It's the most helpful review, but I'm assuming people just uploaded it because it's funny. So it's a negative review for Elite Dangerous, and it is a conversation. Oh my God, is it really you, Commander Zigglepants? Yeah, nice to meet a fan. I can't believe it. I've always wanted to be a space pilot like you. You've done everything. How did you get started? Well, believe it or not, my first job was doing delivery runs. Really? That must have been tedious. It was, and the pay was terrible. You'd accept a mission in one star system and do nothing but hop from star system to star system for an hour or more before accepting your tiny payment. It sounds pretty bad. Yeah, I only did that for a short time before I got into smuggling. Oh, cool. Sneaking into heavily armed facilities with illegal cargo, that sort of thing? Exactly. Although, you only do the sneaking at the end bit of your journey. The rest of it was just as dull as the deliveries. And even the sneaking was only fun the first few times. After that, it became pretty routine. The pay was a lot better, though. So, how did you become a famous bounty hunter? I'm afraid the stories are exaggerated. I took my first contract at my local station. It took me to fly to the nearby star, st nearby star and hunt down a notorious pirate. Did you get him? No. I showed up at the star and he wasn't there. I flew around scanning promising signals, but each one turned out to be a dud. To make it worse, it took about 10 minutes to fly between each signal, and there wasn't much to do in the meantime. After a few hours of this, the contract expired. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, the next two, few contracts turned out the same, so at that point I gave up, became, bought a warrant scanner, and decided to go freelance. What does that mean? Well, it means you sit in one place next to a navigation beacon or a resource extraction point and hope to catch pirates if they show up. Neat. How many did you catch? None. It took me about an hour to pick up the scanner and fly to a promising system. Then I waited around for a few hours scanning ships, but no pirates showed up. Well, a couple did, but none of them came out of super crews. After a few nights of this, I decided to dump the stupid scanner into the sun. When I got home, I received a strange message. Someone wanted to hire me to carry some mysterious cargo to a certain sector and wait for further instructions. Did you take the job? Of course. It seemed like the first interesting thing that had happened to me as a space commander. Yeah, I accepted the job and headed out to the sector they named. It took a lot of time to get there. Then I started waiting for my contract. Who was it? I don't know. He never showed up. I waited around for a couple hours and eventually the mission expired. I did get to fight some pirates, ironically. It seems like they really wanted that cargo, whatever it was. They should have just asked. After waiting around for a few hours, I tossed it into the sun, too. Hold on, I have a customer. Commander Circle Pants turns away and talks into his headset. Hello, welcome to McSpaceport. Can I take your order? Combo number two? That'll be 4,000 credits. First window, please. He turns back. Sorry about that. No problem. So now you work a drive through window? This is way more fun, trust me. You know what? I think I still want to be a space commander. Suit yourself, but can I offer a word of advice? Please. You're going to be spending most of your time traveling and waiting around, so bring a video game to keep yourself entertained. Got it. And make sure it's not Elite Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's the top review. You should read uh, or play um, Final F or not Final Fantasy. You should play Soccer Manager. It's apparently an MMORPG. There's no way that's an MMORPG. Yeah, it's listed as an MMORPG. And first review is a numbered checklist. It's one, install game. Two, Steam locks up. Three, restart game. Looking for updates. <laughs> Steam opens. Run game. Five, game loads, white screen appears. Six, restart the game, same thing, white screen. Seven, write this review and get notified that I haven't played for five minutes, can't post review. Eight, run game again, <laughs> wait three more minutes, write review again. Nine, uninstall game, go to sleep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Lucent Heart, what is this game?
Well, its graphics are pretty. There's that. Well, a lot of the reviews are positive. So that's that. Alright, bats. It is now 1930 in game. Why haven't you spawned yet? I just punched that, those bats to death. <laughs> Day four. We are in this hell still. Waiting for this N N NPC to spawn because we need a stupid key from it. Gated content is kind of annoying. Silly is silent. He may have gone <laughs> into a drunken stupor. <laughs> I'm watching this review, this uh, video for a game called Polestar Lost Colony, which apparently Miss Rock, Miss McCroffy owns. Yep, uh, he uh, wants me to what play does he it. What do you think of it? He likes it. We should it. all play it then. Yeah, he and um, a friend of ours oh. that we uh, sometimes play D and D with while we work. Uh, they. Uh, I would play that game. Yeah, they wanna. They wanna do that. Well, if you get that, I'll get it. I intend to get it on my next pay. Okay. Since March. Oh, there he is. Karamet. Oh. He he spawned. He's attacking silly. Piamet. Karamet. It's almost oh, like no, Karamet. Cast on me. Or Araga too. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Get back here. Oh my god, what the hell are all these things? Oh, I'm just going to use an AO8, so hold on. Oh, they all fucking died. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, uh, I guess I'll take the key. Okay. Yeah, 36 items. Uh, okay. So what does this guy want? Territory is like, hey guys, am I late? All right, so we defeated him. All right, so what do we do here next? Let's see, it says... Completing this position. If you're doing this with only two people, farm one coral crest key for one player and one sea lion crest for player two. After opening the lock to fire, first time, farm another coral crest key. Where did Lady Satana go? I don't know. I kind Lady of... Satana ran away. Open my map to see if I can find them. Oh, yeah, okay, they're in the hall here. Alright, everyone, we can now move on. Sorry about the uh, wait there. Uh, the game is just, you know, gated. At least it wasn't as bad as the uh, Rise of Zillert uh, gate there where we had to make the Arc Planisphere. That was. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. Well, at least that happened, like, at the end of our stream, though, didn't it? Yes, 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 it did. But the fact remains, it was ridiculous. I had to log in from work and do it. It was ridiculous. Is this where we want to go? Do we want to go back to the... Uh... I don't know. Engraved with the coral insignia. Alright, so Lee, do you want to use your coral key or should I? I'll use mine. Okay. Oh, I'm holding the lock open. What does that mean? Okay, I gotta use my key now. Trade. Oh no, quick, go! Oh, shit, I'm trying. No, no, I don't want to trade with Silly. I don't. I just keep trying to get me to trade with you. Okay. Well, 
my key broke. So. <laughs> Tell Lady Satana to use their key. Hard for me to tie. There. Aha. Well, okay. I don't have a key anymore. <laughs> I still have one key. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do have a key. I don't know. I only got one, I think, though. I have seven dial keyed sharp ABs. Okay, so C line key does not break, but the coral key does. Guess I don't know where we gotta go. Where'd Lady Satana go? I don't know. The other way? I feel like there's not much in this room. Okay, so. One of the six classrooms we gotta spawn something. No cutscene at G8, so I don't know if this is the right way. Maybe it's the right way to find like a random question mark? No, I think we went the right way before. Uh, it's down this hallway here. Okay. Come back here. There should be a cutscene at when we hit G8. Click the door and it starts cutting. Okay. Oh man, there's sound. There's music. <laughs> Can't we get this thing open? It cannot be forced. You say the reliquarium lies beyond this gate, but what business do we have inside, Lady Prish? Isn't it obvious? This is where we're going to find Promathia. Huh? Stroll up to them. Hey, silly, you're just in time. You can help us open this gate. We're almost at the end of our quest. One moment, Lady Prish. If Promathia is behind this gate as you say, would there not be some powerful seal in effect? Oh yeah, now I remember. I think I locked this gate after the war. Locked it. Silly, you and Tenzi go find the reliquarium key. It's somewhere in the communion hall. Off you go now. Lady Prish. Let us begin our search for this reliquarium key she speaks of. 
she is such a demanding young lady, and I believe the imperious princesses of the Far East were hard on their subjects. <laughs> Hello. Why? Now what do we do? Click it again? Uh, no, we gotta go find the reliquarium key. Oh, thought we had that already. What the hell? person's pet comes flying in. It says, exit out of the locked door if you don't have another... You have to remember. Okay. So. We can leave a member behind to push the button to open the door. So, Lita Satana, if you want to hang out here while we go find the key, you can do that, I guess. Okay, and then I think we gotta go into the classrooms and spot, try and spot them. And, um, Okay, so there should be a yeah, in every one here there should be a one of these question marks. So I'll inspect it. There's nothing inside. Okay. Is that the only question mark? It looks like the only one. Okay. So it's not in that classroom. What we're doing is there should be a notorious monster that spawns from one of these question marks in the classroom. And if it's not there, we just move on to the next one. Don't worry, Lady Satana. We appreciate you hanging out and pushing the button. We also uh, have Korumaru uh, guarding us. Ready? There's nothing inside. Head figures. We're gonna have to run to the other side. Well, that's rude as shit. If we go over here, we can't come back in through this way. How do we get back in? We have to run all the way through that room. So hang on, before we go back to that room, let's go check the other classrooms first. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, the room with the... No, that's right. Yeah. Chocobo Jake, please. Thank. How sad are you going to be when I'm not a bar, not a dancer anymore? You're not going to be a dancer? When we do the Vastock oh. and Windows quest. That's true. Eh, we'll figure it out. A lot of them overlap, so... Nothing inside, you fucking asshole. Fulmars. Silly wanted to be a Fulmar once. I am a Fulmar right now. Really? Yep. This classroom has a lot of Fulmars in it. Packed. There's nothing inside. Uh, it's gonna be in that one, isn't it? It's gonna make it as rude as possible. in this one. Ah! 
There he is. Nice. Alright, so now we click the... Okay, open the door silly and get the reliquarium key. Does only one person need the reliquarium key? The scale is walking with us. That's yeah, rude. Whew, that was luck. Thank god it was at that one. When your choco, let me know when your choco would jigs off cooldown. Now. Okay. Well, we will find out soon, Lady Satana. Lady Terratire. <laughs> Alright, well we're going to go see if that worked. If not, uh, you might have to run over and grab the uh, key from that desk. Uh, if it works. Or if it doesn't work. Let me click the door first. Cutscene, cutscene. Click it. This appears to be some sort of storage room. Can the God of Twilight truly reside here? Huh? Is this the Twilight God, Promathia? There you go! But... This is nothing more than a statue. Uh-huh. It was found by some thieves with more curiosity than sense. Lots of people lost their lives before this was finally brought here. I see. I have heard tell that the nation of Tabnesia had strong ties with pirates and other bandit groups. The Tabnesian Cathedral used to buy up weird artifacts all the time and give its researchers something to study. It all began as a search for the Paradise of Legend. You know, this place those ancient people tried to get to, the thing that ticked off Promathia so much. It is said that the gods sleep in Paradise. The former Tasnasian theologians thought they could get there and ask Gautana to remove the curse of Promathia. If the curse of war and conflict vanished from the world, we would no longer have to fear the threat of the Beastmen. But as things progressed, the aims of the Cathedral's research shifted. As they continued to investigate the objects left by the ancient people, the theologians re realized the older civilization was way more advanced than their own. Even with their advanced culture, however, they were no match for Hermathia. Their city was obliterated. So this is what the elders of the Tabnasian Cathedral proposed. What if they were able to invite the Dawn Goddess to cross over into our world? Invite the Goddess? But before the incredible event was to happen, Cardinal Mildarian arrived and Tabnasia was destroyed not too long after. Anyway, I found out something that'd give Ulnia's grandpa a heart attack. You see that glowing stone stuck in there? If you stand here and do this, you can hear the voice of Promathia.
Lady Prish. So this is the Tavnasian child known as the Abhorrent One. It seems she caused a terrible accident during the baptismal ceremony. Many of the clergy lost their lives during the incident and those who survived told of a terrifying dreams of the cursed deity. You voiced that black bearded guy. What truly proves this child's damnation is her ever youthful form. That and the rumors of her ability to read people's minds. Why did this new cardinal allow the child to walk freely after the cathedral had taken steps to ensure her eternal confinement? And why bring her here to Thandoria? I think you were Mushavat. Maybe. According to Cardinal Moldarian, the birth of such a child is a sign that our most desperate wish is about to be granted. I speak of the treasure entrusted to Abnasia. What generations of cardinals have hidden from in fear, this Mildorian has chosen to reveal to the Sandorian Cathedral. If Tabnasia's treasure is brought together with the holy artifact we hold, the gates of paradise will not long remain closed. Okay, Lady Satana. Prish, you are a child of destiny. However, your part in this is over. There is nothing left within you. That's unfortunate. You. Why are you here? You should have met your demise in the city of Altaio, along with the Keeper of the Apocalypse. Does this mean the battle still rages? Or do you mean to tell me that you fled from the battlefield? Battle? What battle is this? The battle upon which the fate of the world. The uh, image of Parmathia I revealed to you. It was your task to travel to Altaio and regain that form. At first, I thought those Zelashian fools were to blame to bring for spreading the emptiness that once again slowly devours Venadiel. Have you been taken by the emptiness? Were you defeated at the last battle of Altaio? Was I defeated? Was I victorious? I know nothing of what you speak. How can this be? My own existence is forfeit, but I have saved that which must be protected. Welcome to the Hall of the Gods. Hast thou come seeking the salvation of Altana, my child? I seek no salvation. I only wish to know the truth. Dawn Maiden Yevnoil, you who resonates with the spirit of the goddess should be able to answer my question. Was I born to carry out the will of divine Promathia? Or was I born to thwart his designs? Ah, a most del interesting dilemma. Why dost thou think the face of Promathia is smooth and unfeatured? I don't know. All those who follow the Lady of the Dawn gaze upon her visage. However, none have ever even seen the face of Promathia. He vanished from paradise upon his death. 
That is why we pray for his resurrection. For his resurrection and his destruction. I feel like that whole cycle can just be removed. You know, just let him fucking be gone. I mean, if you're if you're waiting for him to be revived and then just, and then destroyed again, like. Has your strength returned? That even one such as yourself was overwhelmed. This is a truly an unexpected turn of events. Lady Prish seems to have survived none the worse for wear, or at least she appears unharmed. Prish. What in Vanadil's name were you thinking? Why would you ever lay a hand on that horrid statue? Have you forgotten the warning of Cardinal Mildarian? That statue has the power to bring about the worst in people. We were never supposed to touch it, ever! I thought if I were able to figure out the will of Promethea, I'd have a better idea of what the hell's going on. And I think I've managed to do just that. What the Twilight God desires is his own resurrection and his own death. What can this mean? Death and resurrection? Why this contradiction? Prish! You communed with the statue of the Twilight God? Um, I guess I did. Could you truly be? Omia, are you afraid of me? Of course not! But Grandpa will not likely, nay, most, will most definitely not forgive this transgression. Do you realize what you have done? But you believe me, don't you, Omia? Yes, I believe you. But Grandpa... Let us return to the safe hold. The air here is stifling. Omnia. Yes, there's nothing left for us to do here. Come, Frisch. Let's go home. Alright, we gotta go open the door for her. That's right. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. I don't think there's anything Don't go else. the way I went. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in here. That statue's being an ass. The gate cannot... What? The gate cannot be opened from this side. That's not good. Stuck in here forever. Um. <laughs> Hang on. There's another gate over here. Hey. I opened the door. That's a cutscene. I am opening the door now. Excuse me. Nice car, Mario. Uh, uh, he takes us out you, over here. Yeah, you go find. Uh, Unfortunately, I'll stay here and open the door. Unfortunately, that's not going to be uh, something that happens. Why? Uh, because we have to go through that maze. Oh, to find her? To yeah, because the, the Lady Satana needs the other door open, and the one we're at is blocked by this rubble. Okay, so... Uh, you may as well just come out. There's no reason to be in there. Oh, but don't we have to open the door for them again? Yeah, but that's at the north gate. That's This is not the gate that... There's a ton of needs. Oh. So we need another coral key, so come on in. Okay. That's the carrium chesky. Damn you and your sits me.
There you go. There you go. Okay, so you take the coral chest key. Oh no, Lady Satana's gonna take it. Okay. That works too. Oh, there's two of them here. Okay. I don't know which one she rolled on. I'm gonna pass on both. So I need to take one? Yeah, ask them which one she rolled on. Oh, well I already passed them the second one. Oh wait, pass them the key and I'll just kill NM again? Yeah. Oh, we can uh, make our way around, it's not a big deal. But does that mean I pass them the keys? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you can need on one of them actually, just go ahead and need on one. Oh, well I already kind of... Didn't. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about it. Not a big deal. You still following me? Maybe. Out back where the mummies are? Yeah. There. Alright, come with me, Coral Morrow. We will make our way back around to our friend and hopefully be able to find our way around to that other door. May they have shifted in a way that allows us easy access to get out of here. It looks like they did. They did, yay! Alright, cool. Let's go help Lady Satana open the door. Okay. Oh, they, they already killed the uh, caramel. You know, it would be cool if they gave um, <clears throat> Darth Knights in uh, Final Fantasy XIV if they had given them scythes instead of. Uh, but I guess they figured as a DPS, they or as a tank, they wanted to give them like a more tanky weapon as opposed to a scythe. I don't know. Yeah. But still, a scythe would have been cool. Yeah. Small keyhole is for the coral key, right? Wait, hang on. At least it's oh, Should have a key. Oh, you haven't passed on the other key yet. I didn't? No. Hmm. The sea lion key.
door is open. I'm coming. You over here? Let me know when you want me to open the door. Can open it. Alright, so, after fighting with that person, we go we watch the cutscene, head back to Tavnese and safe hold. Alright, so are you ready? Yeah. Excellent. Let's use our items. It's 4.10, so we'll probably be done here real soon. Let me see here. Yeah. So once we go back, we'll get the cutscene to start this. Alright, so yeah, this is the last mission we're going to finish. It's just a cutscene. Okay, where do we travel to? Tabnasian Safehold, and we go to the Walnut Door at K10. <laughs> no worries, Lisa Sana. We appreciate the help you gave us today. It would have taken a lot longer without you helping us out. Tabnasia. Alright, now I'm going to wait till I see you. Oh, wait, no, I remember which way to go. This way. It's got the two guards guarding the door. at the walnut door. I don't know if it's the one that Prish's room or Dispatcher's room, but let's check Prish's room first. So it'll be the first uh, door after the ramp here on the left. That <laughs> ramp here. <laughs> Walnuts. Poochie woochie. What? Why didn't I get that? Ah. Hurt your Shoot. shit. Rude as shit. So let's go click the walnut door. Nope, not ah, this one. Tight. Figures it's the other one. Alright. Gouda! Who's that guy think he is? Cheese. Being named after Cheese. His parents had a sense of humor. They're slow, I'm fast. Hey, Packy, I'm not still ahead of you, though. Not on my screen. Oh. Cutscene! She spoke with the Abhor God of Chaos? What more evidence do we need? It all makes sense now. Why else would Bahamut choose Tavnavia as its place of return? It is all because of this girl. She is the origin of all of our troubles. Perhaps it is even her fault that the Beastmen first converged on Tavnasia 20 years ago. Grandpa, it is unfair to blame Prish for all Tavnasia's misfortunes. It is because of Prish's heart is pure. That is why she was not controlled by the evil after touching the statue of Promathia. Give me a sec. She only did such a foolish thing to save our nation. Why can't you understand this? Save our nation? How am I to believe this after what I have seen? You haven't seen anything. If the Marcus that remained, the Cathedral Theologians would have discovered the true reason behind this child's existence and the terrible things she's planning. 
Ah, forgive me, Altana. I should have revealed everything to Nagmalata. It was my mistake to conceal what I knew to protect our city's image. He could have possibly led us to the truth about the true intentions of the abhorred one. Grandpa, have you forgotten what Cardinal Maldoran told us? She told us Prish may have been born the ab abhorrent one, but she was reborn through the power of Altena. And perhaps we should question the loyalty of Moldarian Siguima as well. What was her true intentions? I have recently heard rumors that the Sandorian Cathedral is attempting to capture her. Who could have told you such things? This guy that you get to voice. Mm. Who the hell are you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Louverance and Mistal. I have been listening to your exchange for the past few moments. This knight has been dispatched by order of the Sandorian Cathedral to search out the missing Cardinal Mildorian. He arrived here via a duchy airship. Luveros, I recall hearing that name once before when I visited Sandoria. Ah, you must be the one who visited Madame Inare. So you are already aware of the details of my mission. At the close of the Great War over twenty years ago, the cathedral reliquary was robbed. Moldarian C. Gilme was is believed to have been involved in this theft of a large number of scrolls and scriptures. It is said that this loss ultimately drove the reigning paps Mushavat Pikurche to his death. That is why the Sandorian Cathedral is adamant in locating the Cardinal. Miss Moldarian, you've got to be kidding! I know neither of her guilt nor innocence, and that is why I have been searching for anyone who remembers her. It looks as if I finally found someone who can give me some useful information. Let me take the girl. I can see that her presence has been quite the burden on you and your people. Well, if this is what the cathedral desires, I am not one to stand in its way. Grandpa! Omiya, oh, don't worry. I was beginning to think that it's about time everyone learned the truth. I've got to do something, or people will continue to doubt and hate me. Prish, but... Hey, Louverance, as much as I'd like to take you up on your offer of a free cruise to the kingdom, I'm going to have to pass. i got to go to the Northlands with these guys before I can do anything else. Like they say, a promise is a promise. Yes, we must hurry to the Northlands to assist the Genoian diplomat, Nagmalada. The future of Venadiel rides on this crucial mission. I understand your orders, Sir Luverance, but there are more important issues we must first address. You are working with Nagmalada? I see. I offer you this suggestion. Come to my airship and tell me what you know of Cardinal Mildarian. When you have answered all my questions, I shall personally fly you to the Northlands. Can I assume that I, too, am welcome aboard your ship? As a messenger from the Eastern Dynasty, I request an audience with the Royale. Understood. I will be waiting at the Sea Lion's Den. Lady Prish, I am pleased to find out that you are a woman of understanding. Now make your goodbyes and hurry to the docks. Excellent. Let's see. Head to the basement of Tavnazian is on the Sea Lion's Den. Okay, so we just gotta go to the Sea Lion's Den, that'll be the end of this chapter. There's Lady Satana. Where's Lady Satana? Hey, I actually got the Chocobo Jig this time. Hey! Silly, what's it like to be silly? Tell, tell all the viewers what it's like to be silly. I get to go fast and you get to go slow. Hmm, I see. So it's kind of like being a bug. Yes. Gotcha. I don't know why, but, uh... That, uh, what's it like to be, uh, so-and-so thing I, I asked people, I, uh, got from Calvin and Hobbes. Nice. And... 
Ever since I read Kelvin and Hobbes, the comic that stuck with me the most was this comic where Kelvin's like making Susie a, uh, a Valentine's Day card, and his mom's like, "Oh, that's sweet," and. He's like, yeah, I got pink construction paper to make the heart. I'm going to line it with lace. And... I think we go south. This way, maybe? Anyway, he's like, I'm going to line it with lace now. And some glitter and some glue. And then Susie opens it. And it's, dear Susie, I hate you. Drop dead. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> That's so mean. Jovial Rat. That's an awesome name. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna name my next alt Jovial Rat and make it a, a row. <laughs> Do it. <sighs> we will be departing shortly for the Sandorian Cathedral aboard Sir Luveron's airship. I asked if you might accompany us, but they answered me with a hearty no. I don't That's understand weird. why. We're like the be most famous people in Sandorian. However, you need not worry, silly. I will not take an eye off of Lady Brish. And if, by chance, Sandoria breaks its promise and refuses to release her, I will do everything in my power to rescue the fair lady. However, if there is one thing we must worry about, it is the amount of time we are losing with all this sidetracking. We can only hope the boy is not too far ahead of us. The ship is about to leave. Let us all board. Where is Lady Umia? Is she not accompanying us? I spoke with Umia earlier and do not feel that she possesses any information of use to the kingdom. She is to remain here on the island. The Elder Dispachera would not even allow her to come to see us off. He is quite worried about his granddaughter, isn't he? Yes, I sense we are to encounter much danger in our journey ahead. It is better that she stays here, for her own safety. So she's not coming. I guess this means I'll never see her again. Lady Prish, we all work different paths in life. However, if those paths point in the same direction, there is a good chance that they will cross once again. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather spend the next few weeks with Omia than I would with you. Lady Prish, there are some opinions better left unspoken. <laughs> well, I guess this is, this is goodbye. Don't go falling off a cliff or getting eaten by a buffalo or anything, because I won't be around to save your butts. Wait! Oh, huh? what? Take me with you. I may, I still may be of some use. I haven't told you of the song I learned from Cardinal Medarian. I feel that the song may be an important clue into solving the mysteries that lie before us. Interesting. Very well. You may accompany us to Sandoria. Did you hear that? Omi and Prish, back together again on a trail of adventure. Prish, I'm... I'm so sorry. I know you already know this, but let me say it again anyway. I do not have any of the special powers that you do. There is so much that I do not understand. However, there is one thing I do know, and that is that I wish to travel with you and sing. Sing your song. It is you who introduced me to the world filled with song, and this is the only way I can repay you. <laughs> Thanks, Umia. Now let's get moving. Silly, we will await you at the Sandorian Cathedral. Weird. You can't come on the airship, but you can use the teleport crystal and get there before us. Poochie Woochie, I don't know if there's an airship battle. You're not supposed to spoil post spoilers. Come on, man. There's no airships. There aren't even airships in this game. Yeah, it's clearly just a boat with propellers on top of it for some reason. Yeah, that's like slightly floating. <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, let's go uh, start the next quest so I know where we've left off, and then I will, uh, and then we'll be done for today, okay? The hell did you just go? Oh. This person's name is Ironclad Gorilla. Wait, so where do we go for the next quest? I'm just like running off. Okay, so there's two people we gotta talk into Sandaria that are optional that I'd like to, and then we're gonna go to part Bastok, talk to an NPC there, and then we'll be done. What the hell? Doesn't make any sense at all. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just warp or No, I'm going up to the save crystal now. <clears throat> I see you on the bridge though. So go to North Sandoria first. Then we're going to Port Sandoria, then Port Bastok, and that'll be it for today, okay? Just because I figured it'd be better if we get the optional stuff out of the way before we're done. And PMF's not awake yet, right? Not yet. Alright. You can awake at any moment. I die, Panda! That's right. Next Sunday, we're going to go back to Soja. Excellent. All right, just, just to make sure it is northern. Yeah, okay. L6 of northern Sandoria. It's a manuscript room. We've been there. We talked to this NBC before. So home point nope. two or three, doesn't matter. I went to two. Okay, I'll go to three. To the cathedral manuscript room. I see Lady Satana. Are you already in there? No. Behind you. Because I always wait to see if I can see you. Oh. Guess we gotta talk to Shasselvig, which was you who voiced this dude. There's too many people. Indeed. <clears throat> no, can't stop moving. Can't stop, won't stop. Also, can't click him because now you two are standing on top of him. Let's oh. see. There we go. Got it. Ah, the adventurer I conversed with in the reliquary. You say you are searching for one Sir Louverance, an envoy of the cathedral? He would be the grandson of Franck Mage M. Mistel, the Royal Knight you were investigating earlier. That Sir Louverance has retired from the Royal Knights is common knowledge. However, I have heard nothing of his enlistment in the Order of Temple Knights. If we high priests were not informed of his return to military service, he must be entrusted with a mission of the highest importance indeed. It would seem to me that if Sir Louverance is traveling by airship, then the wisest place to search for him would be the port. Do you not agree? Oh, it would be... Like, assume we're stupid. Well, you see, the fun thing here is you either assume that he is having the highest uh, mission uh, uh, secrecy or um, uh, the highest of top secret missions, or you, nobody ever considers the idea that maybe he's just fucking lying to everyone. Of course. Yeah. Maybe the Sandorians are shifty people. Maybe he's just an asshole. Anyone ever consider that? Maybe. You realize people with their maxed out drop points. Yeah. Where are we going now? Uh, Port Sandoria. Right. And I guess home point one. I don't have that. Okay, home point two. I'm so lazy, I just never get it. <clears throat> okay, so we gotta find someone named Anoki. They are at 
H6. Which is way up there, okay. At the airship docks. Alright, where are you? I'm, I'm making two, so... Okay, we'll wait for you down here. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go exactly from there. I'm, like, looking. Uh, well, it'll lead you right up, uh... The thing there. Oh, I can go this way. There you go. Once you come through that door, you should see us a short time after that. I see you. This would be our home point right here, and then we just gotta head up here. Get it? No, I refuse. Yeah, rude. So rude. Kind of faster than you. So rude. It's locked. Fiva. Well, that's a normal name. It's Lewis. It's Anton Enoki. That's the person we want to talk to. What? When will the airship arrive from Tasmania? Uh, I'm sorry. We have no records of that type of airship you described. Vessels not registered with the air travel agency are considered illegal and are only permitted to dock here in emergency situations. Did you truly see an airship like that or are you sure it wasn't a dream or hallucination? Hey. No one can ever truly be sure of that. Is this just a dream or is reality a dream? Is this a dream or is the dream? Now where did you go? Back towards the home point. And now we're gonna go to Port Bastok. And after this cutscene in Port Bastok, we will be done. I don't think it matters which home point, so let's just go to home point three. Travel to Bastok. Bastock, Port Bastock. <laughs> Chapter Five The Return Home. Chapter One. That far. That would be an interesting chapter. It's on the music guys. When we get online Final Fantasy fourteen, I gotta put on Chocobo music again. Where? Why? This isn't. My cutscene must load faster than this. Fair enough. Huh? This ain't Standoria. I thought we were going to the cathedral. Smooth move there, Luvi. You look all smart and stuff, but you really ought to get yourself a compass. Come on, admit it. You took a wrong turn back there, didn't you? No, we are right where we are supposed to be. Bastok. Always knew this guy was a dick. It's that face mask he's got. However, we may, must have arrived slightly ahead of schedule, so I uh, do not see our welcoming party. Oh, well, that is of no matter. Let us be off for the metalworks. We're gonna go see Sid. That's my guess. That will the only be person in there. <laughs> That'll be at another time. We're gonna go see the Goron man. Yep. Excellent. So, everyone, that will be it for today. Thank you all for viewing. It was a lot of fun today. We got a lot of stuff done. Uh, Change of Promathia so far has proven to be awesome. I don't know why some of our friends were worried about it. 
I got a lot of groans saying, uh, change up a Mathia. So, right now, it is time for... Jeb. But that's right, next week we will be continuing on with Chapter 5 of Change of Promethea. I finished Final Fantasy X-2 this week uh, that just passed. On Monday I'll be starting Final Fantasy XII. Uh, I'll be streaming between 12.30 and 2 p.m. roughly within that time frame. Uh, so join us for that. Um, this is all for Monday and Friday EST. Friday nights, typically, I uh, do Dying Light uh, stream as well. I encourage anybody who wants to play and join me for that. Send me a message, I'd be more than happy to uh, add you to the list and you guys can join the game. So thank you again for viewing. Have a good one. See you later.